the Tax Goddess live to you here from Scottsdale, Arizona. And today I want to talk to you about marketing funnels. And I know, you know, CPA, why am I talking about marketing? I'm talking about marketing because our head of marketing is actually here in town this week. Um, she's being a little shy. She doesn't want to get on camera right now, but that's okay. Um, her specialty is figuring out technical and, and flow and workflow of funnels and sales and all these other kinds of things. And I thought, you know what? She's taught me some really cool stuff and I thought I would share it with our business owners. So one of the most important things, and I, I don't know if you guys have done this or not, she had me draw out how do clients come to the tax goddess? So, you know, we get current client referrals, we get uh, vendor referrals, maybe I'm out networking or doing a seminar or presentation. Um, if you guys have downloaded our 10 ways ebook, you know, maybe you found us that way. So she was asking all these different ways that tax goddess gets new clients. And what we did was draw a diagram, you know, tax goddess in the center with all of these different methods. And she said, all right, well, if I'm coming on as head of marketing, one of the very first things we need to do is figure out which of these funnels, which of these paths to get to tax goddess is the best for the client and the best for tax goddess, right? And I said, well, what does the best mean? And she said, well, lowest cost for tax goddess, uh, easiest for the client to come in. So lots of different reasons why something might be best. But she said, well, let's, let's go through three or four of them. Let's figure out which one we think. And then most importantly is the analytics of that funnel, right? So once you decide that, okay, I'm going to work on these top three ways of getting clients to my business, then you actually need to track it, right? There's an excellent book called Smart Goals, and it's basically measurable and actionable uh, goals, right? If you, you gotta write them down, you gotta measure them, and you have to track them. And as long as you do that, you can actually get a history and a trend of what is the best way to, in this case, uh, get clients in that funnel into your front door. So as this progresses, hopefully I will be able to come back to you guys with some more tips, but tip number one, Pick no more than three paths that clients come to your business. And if you're in the mood to do some marketing work, figure out why are those paths best for you as a company and best for your clients. So hope you guys are having a great day and uh, looking forward to bringing you a tax tip next time. I know it was all marketing, but at least marketing is deductible. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at taxgoddess.com and happy to answer any questions. All right, talk to you later. Bye.